bombs are dropping, politics is crazy, interest rates are going insane, and now is the best time to get involved and spin off another business. So if you're looking to buy a business or you're looking to start a new business, what are some of the best opportunities that you can use, especially in this unique time in your life? So depends on where you are. So if you're somebody, you know, you have products, you have services, and you have information and you have labor. So what are the different ways that you can make money by spinning off a new business off of what you're doing right now? So first thing I do is look at what job that you're doing. If you're somebody, you know, let's say that you're a lawyer and you know, you want to spin off and start your own company. I say the best way to do it is to buy an existing business instead of start your own from scratch. So some of the best ways to start businesses is really to understand if you're an employee of a company and you'd like to spin off and start a business, don't use it using, start it using, you know, from scratch, you know, find a way to buy a business in a way that risks, that doesn't risk your own money and doesn't risk your own time. So the first way, the first thing I do is like, what's, what service am I doing? If you're a lawyer, I'd look at buying a law firm. If you're an accountant, I'd look at buying a CPA firm. If you're a software developer, I'd look at buying a software development agency. You know, based on your current, this current services that you provide, I'd focus on those industries. Because it's the highest leverage thing to focus on the thing that you have the most experience in. If you double down on your focus, you double down on the cash. If you diversify, you can only preserve the cash. It depends on where you are in the journey, but diversification only comes to those who don't know what they're doing. This is something Warren Buffett said, the best investor in the world. If you invest in Pearl Harbor, right before Pearl Harbor, or you, sorry, you invest in the American economy right before Pearl Harbor, uh, at the age of seven years old, there's something that you know, and you're destined to be the best in the world. That's what Warren Buffett did. So I take his advice before anybody. So focus on what you know best, buy a business in the, in the sector that you know the best. You know, so how do you actually buy a business in the sector you know the best when you don't know how to do it? There are several ways to do it. Raises.com has the answers and watch the other videos on the channel, but make sure the idea, the main idea is focus on using other people's money. Don't use your own money. Use the money of the business to buy the business and you can actually do this. This is called vendor take back slash seller carry. Make sure you get loans at low interest because the interest rates have declined at the time of this video. So make sure that the interest rates are really low. You know, and those two things are going to help you get the deal done and then just put a little bit down. Don't buy something that you don't know how to run yourself. You know, and then the third thing, if you're somebody who is, you know, let's say you already have some wealth and, you know, you want to be more of a, you want to more diversify, then I buy a business adjacent to the business that you focus on. So let's say you're somebody who's a marketing person, you work at a marketing company, but it just so happens that most of the companies that you're doing marketing for are in the e-commerce sector. What I'd focus on is probably buying an e-commerce business. Because even though maybe you didn't start an e-commerce business yourself, you still have some intel about e-commerce business and it's adjacent to the work that you do. You know, let's say you're somebody who's a law firm and you're a lawyer, but you already have a decent amount of wealth saved up, money saved up or a wealth, you know, some cash flow coming in. You know, but it just so happens that you're a real estate lawyer, then perhaps it may make sense to buy a real estate you know, buy some real estate or buy a real estate property management company or a company associated with the services that you provide. Because typically I usually see two types of roles in a company and then a little known third one. You see a role where somebody focuses on getting clients, marketing, sales, you know, PR. And then you have another type of role that's focused on keeping customers and retaining customers and helping customers, supports, account management, you know, operations sometimes. You know, and then you have all the roles that support those two main functions, legal, tax, accounting, bookkeeping. Accounting and those roles, they don't really inform the direction of the company, but they support the two roles of the company. So based on those three different roles I mentioned, it can help you orient yourself around the weaknesses and the skills that you have. So let's say you're somebody who's, you're excellent at marketing, you know, but you don't really know about support and about actually helping the customers get results. You know, then I look at a business that is really bad at marketing and I focus on a business that's great at support. Like, for example, a lot of law firms and accounting firms are horrible at marketing, you know, but they're really great at customer support uh, or sorry, horrible at marketing. Uh, but yeah, but they're great at customer support. But if you if you buy a business that is like, let's say you're a customer support person or you're a product person 
and you see a lot of marketing agencies. A lot of them suck at delivery, but they're very good at marketing, especially a lot of online coaches are. So what I focus on is looking at those online coaching businesses and augmenting your strengths with their weaknesses. And then that's how you build something that's more, like, more stable, more unilateral. You know, that's the second thing I'd say. And I guess the, the important thing to take everything off before we go is just to make sure you focus on buying things that you understand. So just because you already have wealth doesn't mean you should diversify yourself into oblivion. Buy things that you understand, because if you don't, then the market will you know, punish you for your lack of knowledge. And that's pretty much it. So all in all, you know, don't joke with buying businesses. It's, it's one of the best things that you can do, especially if you want to start a business. But these are just some tactics, strategies, and ways that you can look at buying existing businesses from those that are already uh, running them. And if this is something that you'd like to do or you like the sharing of knowledge, just make sure you sh share a like and comment on a YouTube video. And if this is something you'd like to do and you'd like to explore for yourself, make sure you click around to explore more.